here with John Bavaro. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. So you came today to share a little bit about your experience at the village and let's start off by telling our viewers how long you've been here. Uh, three years. Really? My wife and I moved here three years ago. And how long had you been looking before you moved to the village? We probably, when we finally made the decision, we took uh, almost a year to solidify the decision and to go through the pains of deciding whether or not to do this. And what was it that finally won you over? Uh, it was actually seeing uh, the decline of my parents uh, who decided to stay in their home and did not want to go into uh, a facility and just the serious deterioration of them uh, physically and medically. Uh, we s both said to ourselves we did not want to go down that road, that we wanted to live in a community where if we got to the stage that they did physically that we'd be taken care of. And so you really kind of were looking into the future. You knew you wanted to have a plan for your life. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of the things that made the decision harder for you. Uh, what was hard was uh, given uh, the history of uh, communities like this, uh, the assumption being made that you have to be really old and decrepit. There has to already be something wrong with you. And uh, we uh, were, were concerned about that image but by coming here before we made any final decisions and experiencing the campus, experiencing the people and the services, we felt it was nothing like the assumptions that are made about communities. And uh, there was the concern once we did decide we're going to do it with what we're going to do with all of our stuff and uh, all of our memorabilia and all of our collectibles in my case and uh, also the fact that we were going to downsize and so there was a lot of concern about stuff but there was uh, an opportunity to do something about that and uh, look at the importance of community and relationships in community that was more important than holding on to stuff and we had help from the uh, from John Knox to move here and pack stuff up and we had a place for everything and we we got rid of a lot of stuff. It sounds like you took advantage of our moving assistance program, which is excellent. We did. We did. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I want to circle back to something you just mentioned about community and the community before you moved to the village. And mm -hmm. from what I understand, you are still involved in some things outside of the village community, such as the Lee Summit Symphony and things like that. Yeah, I am on the Lee Summit Symphony uh, board and also on the St. Luke's Hospital uh, Patient Advisory Board. And uh, we still maintain activities outside of John Knox Village in Lee Summit. And Lee Summit community is involved with our foundation uh, each year where we raise money uh, to improve services at the village. I'm also on that board here. So there is involvement uh, outside of, of the John Knox Village. But it's always fun to come back into the village because the life here is so much richer than when we lived in, in a neighborhood. We lived in Lakewood and you really didn't get to know the neighbors the way you do here. I mean we, we knew people on either side of us but here you know everybody in the community because of the level of activities that we have with programs here. Uh, we're very involved with with neighbors and there's a really tight relationship that we have with, with uh, our new family which it feels like here. Uh, the concern that we have for each other and how we watch out for each other as well as get involved in the activities that we have here, whether it's swimming, golfing, going to theater, or even going to the concerts that are brought into the community. The seven restaurants, uh, we have such a variety of things to do here uh, where we can not only enjoy the quality of the food, but also the quality of the relationships with neighbors here. That really warms my heart to hear you talk about, obviously not just the services and the plan for your life, but to really talk about your neighbors as family. Mm -hmm. Because it sounds like when you moved here, you were thinking about a plan, not necessarily expecting to gain a new family. Exactly, exactly. We, where we live, uh, there's such a variety here. You can have cottage living, uh, apartment living, or single family dwelling living. Um, and where we live, we have, of course, neighbors on either side of us and across the street. And the proximity that we have 
to each other, we know our patterns, and we know when somebody's blinds are, are open, they're up. If they're not open at the time they should be, we call to make sure they're okay, and it's reciprocal. Uh, our neighbors to, uh, to the east of us, we both know we get up at 7.30, <laughs> and we open the blinds up at the same time, and we either wave, or if ours aren't open, she'll wait and call us to make sure we're okay. And it's really nice to have a sense of uh, the depth of community and friendships that we have here that we, we're so trusting that, that we, we don't feel bad about checking on each other. It really sounds like you have a built-in support system. Yeah. And you really can't put a price tag on that. No, you can't. You can't. I noticed uh, a big thing too after living here is that when we do go out to the mall or we go to the grocery store, most of the contacts that you have with people there, it's head down looking at the feet. Here, it's head up, wow. eye contact. We talk to each other. We say hi to each other. As big as the campus is and the number of people that live here, even if we don't know somebody, they still feel safe enough to make eye contact and to greet each other. And then, of course, eventually we start stopping when we're walking and visit with each other. Wow, well thank you for sharing that wonderful observation. Mm -hmm. I had never actually heard that before. Oh yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. It, you obviously sound really happy living here at the village. Tell me about some of the things that you do for fun. Well, I'm on the, the, the board at the golf the golf uh, club board, so I play golf. Uh, for me, it's either two or three times a week. Wonderful. And uh, uh, even with the pandemic that's happening right now, we still can get out and play, play golf. We just keep our distance from each other. So I play golf all the time. Uh, we walk every day uh, still. And uh, when and uh, we have uh, shows at the pavilion. We'll go to those uh, programs, music programs, educational programs, the symphony when the symphony comes. Uh, we have special banquets here and we have barbecues here. Um, and uh, there's just so much to do here. The, the, swimming, the swimming here is, is really nice. We have such nice paths to walk to walk on. We both love uh, walking. There's just a lot to do to do here. Uh, and myself, I like to also entertain, so I'll get involved in some of the programs here at the, at the pavilion. And uh, it's just a very lively, enriching place to live. And when you are having fun and being involved in these activities, some of the not so fun stuff like housekeeping or otherwise, that can fall by the wayside if you're not living at a place like the village. Absolutely. In fact, we just had uh, our air conditioner uh, serviced. And yeah, the, the upkeep of the property on the grounds is just really beautiful and pristine. The mowing that happens, the gardening that happens, the taking care of all of the foliage around the campus and our home snow removal, anything, absolutely anything that goes wrong within our dwelling is taken care of. Whether it's appliances, whether it's uh, carpeting, whether it's the walls, they'll even change a light bulb for you because they don't want you standing on a ladder or hang a picture for you. Literally everything is taken care of for us here. Uh, in addition to the medical support that exists here, home health care and uh, memory care, uh, rehabilitation. We have uh, physical therapists that are now part of the community here. I think about, uh, almost 80 of them that take care of our physical therapy needs here. I mean, there it's is amazing. nothing here you can think of that isn't taken, that you're not taken care of. One of my favorite things is knowing that we have our own ambulances. Isn't that neat? Yes, yes, yes. Very much so. My wife took a spill one day. Oh. We always walk together. One day I was playing golf and she was walking by herself and she tripped. And, uh, and fell, and uh, right away uh, the community uh, EMTs were there to bring her home and take care of her. And, yeah, uh, literally everything that you need is here. That must have been some wonderful peace of not mind knowing that she was in such yes. great hands. Yes, yes. Well, I really appreciate you sharing all this information with me today and our viewers. Before we go, I know that you have a musical talent, and I was wondering if you might share a little bit with us. Okay. Um, I don't want to do a whole concert for you. <laughs> there was love all around, but I never heard it singing. No, I never heard it at all.
Thank you, handsome and talented. Thanks again for joining us. Happy to do it.